Hello YouTube. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up some essential tools, security tools in Google Chrome that will help you out a lot and save your life in many circumstances by not allowing a lot of code or pop-ups to execute on the browser except for very specific sites that you want to allow scripts and things to actually run on. So open up Google Chrome. You can also get all these for Firefox as well. So if you prefer Firefox, you can get these for it. Okay, so first of all, we're going to put in no script light Chrome. And no script for Firefox will just be no script. It won't be the light version. But no script light for Chrome works freaking fantastic. We're going to put in Adblock Plus Pro Chrome Ublock Origin Chrome and then the next one is going to be WOT for Chrome and then you can close this one. So for no script light all you got to do is click on Add to Chrome click Add Extension It'll download and install the extension into Chrome. You can see it's now up here and it's running. So we're going to close that one out. And we're going to go through and install the rest of them. Add to Chrome. Add extension. There's Adblock Plus. Here's uBlock Origin. And you can see here usage. The big power button in the pop up is to permanently disable or enable uBlock Origin for the current website. It applies to the current website only. It is not a global power button. So you can set it up specifically to configure, you can set it up specifically for various websites to block those pop ups. Click Add to Chrome, Add Extension. You Block Origin is now on there, so we can close that one. And then you have Web of Trust, which is a web reputation. If it's green, you're good. If it's yellow, it's questionable. If it turns red, usually it's a known suspicious or malware site. Yellow is generally it's suspicious, but they're not for sure. Green, yeah, you're pretty good to go. So we're going to click Add Extension, and now you have WOT. Now, we're going to bring Google Chrome back up, and we're going to go to one of the more popular sites, Facebook. And it's not going to let any of the scripts run, so if you come up here to this one right here on No Script Light, click on it. When it drops down, you'll see how you have a drop down right here, and it has the add button right next to the actual site. You just click that add button, it adds it to the list, click back in the address, hit enter again. Now all the scripts for that site will run and everything will function correctly. So if you have a site that's got a button, you click on it and it doesn't do anything it's because it's blocking the scripts. So if it's a site that you want scripts to be able to run on and have full access, you can enable it for that site. Otherwise, I don't recommend it. This information is out there for absolutely everybody. As always, watch, like, and share. Have yourselves a great day.